off. Well, the time has finally arrived, and it's something that, in a way, we've been looking forward to. But then again, it's always hard to say goodbye. And unfortunately, we have to do that today, but it's for a good reason. Our very own Maria Placer is beginning a brand new, very exciting chapter in her life. And today, we are here to say thank you, Maria. And just thank you doesn't even seem adequate for all you've done, not only for TV10, but for the whole community. Well, I think that really and truly I'm the one that should be saying thank you, and I do really mean thank you because it has really been a long time, you know, decades and decades, <laughs> but they have all been filled with such joy and such happiness. And now I am going to go to 232 Help at 211 and hopefully continue to help people. Uh, it's something that I was taught early in life, and I've always felt that it was something that was very, very important. I'll continue to do Wednesday's Child here at TV10, and I'm very grateful for that. Mike Barr arranged that I would be able to do that, and so I'm very grateful for that. And I, I can tell you that the years have seemed to go very, very fast, and at the same time, very slowly, because they were filled with individual stories of the wonderful people of Acadiana and then Acadiana as a whole. And although I thank you so much for accepting me into your homes and to really making me your adopted daughter, sister, mother, whatever it was, now grandmother probably, <laughs> but I have to tell you that each and every one of you that I met were the kind of people that I would like to call family and that I felt very, very close to. And it was always because of your charm, your generosity, and just the fact that you were just such good folks, much like the people at TV10. So. I have to tell you that uh, I would do it all over again. And you did it right here on this desk. Well, actually, the desk was over there. Well, they actually, the desk might be gone now. <laughs> <laughs> but during the 5 o'clock news. Yes, yeah. it started in 1975, and uh, it was just a, a great thing. You know, pe women did not anchor in those days. You were the first. Yeah, you know, it, was, it was amazing. Absolutely. Amazing. And you know, while, while we have been anticipating the arrival of this day, we have had a lot of fun looking at a lot of old <laughs> video of Maria when she first started on the air, mm -hmm. both in the field and here on the anchor desk. And with the help of Damien Richard, our operations manager, and the very nice people in the archives division of the Secretary of State's office, we have put together a little uh, look back at the past of Maria <laughs> Placer. Let's take a look. In Lafayette, there is no controversy. People agree they should be told. I'll be back with the mini weather in just a moment. I came from a very strict European household, and my role was the oldest daughter, which means that you know you learn how to cook and take care of younger brothers and sisters, and you imagine that that's all you're going to do. And it never occurred to me about what I was going to do. It was just day to day. My father was a man way ahead of his time. He felt that each individual was what he could be, you know, you, you do what you can do. And there were no restraints on what you could become. I never in my life thought that because I was a girl or a woman later on that there were any restraints on me. Um, I never thought that there was something that I couldn't do or that somebody would stop me from doing. Maria, what can be said, uh, 42 plus years at KLFY, all of the things you've done, all of the things you've seen, you've probably seen it all and done more, or at least witnessed it and reported on it. She's been totally dedicated to Channel 10 News, and Channel 10 News is better for it. She set herself a place in the history of broadcasting, not only in Lafayette, but throughout the state of Louisiana and in the South. What I saw Maria do was uh, make Channel 10 uh, a leader in the community as it related to uh, solving many of the issues in the community. You have been so remarkable, so kind-hearted, so compassionate, so giving of yourself. I inform you as parents about what your child is doing. Thank you for being with us. Channel 10 and in particular Maria Placer played a major role in the initial success of Acadianos. The first live television, the first telethons, the first membership drives, those were all very, very important to her. She wanted our company to be successful because she wanted us to be able to save more lives here in Acadiana. You've been a great asset to this community. I know you're going to continue to be a great asset to this community. If I tell her she's the best friend, that would be uh, not enough. I mean, she is a great human being. Maria. Acadiana loves you. I love you.